I've been getting some requests to do some tutorials on pen spins. So I know a few of these. The first one I'll show you, it's a very basic one. It looks like this. Okay, you can do it at this angle as well. So it's a very quick, very casual move. And uh, let me show you kind of what's happening in slow motion here. Basically, I'm holding the, the pen in this position right here between my middle finger and my first finger. And then the very tip of the pen is kind of lodged behind that fleshy area at the base of my thumb, just like this. Okay. Now what's happening is I'm extending my middle finger and first finger outwards. And what that'll do is it'll eventually cause the tip of this pen to clear that fleshy area. So it's going to kind of snap off. Okay, so what's happening is after it snaps off, here's the motion of the pen. It's moving around like this, around like this up here, and then back to where it originally started. And I'm using my first finger to control the motion of the pen throughout that flourish, okay? So let me let me explain in a little bit more detail now. Hold the pen like this, extend with these two fingers. Now, after it clears, it's going to kind of snap off, right? So if you don't do anything after that snap, the pen is just going to kind of dwindle and fall back. So what you need to do is use your first finger to, to control the motion of that pen. So here's, here's what you're going to do. You're going to snap the pen off. It's going to move around like this. Once the pen is in this position, what you're going to do is take your first finger and you're going to move it outwards a bit, away from you. This is greatly exaggerated right here, but it gives you the idea. So it's going to rotate around like this. At this point, you're moving your first finger outwards, and what that does is it causes the pen to move this way. Once it's in this position, you're going to curl your first finger in, and that will cause the pen to return to where it originally was. Okay? Just like that. And then you can also turn your hand palm down and do it the exact same way. Now I'll kind of show you what it looks like on my left hand now. I haven't practiced with my left hand, so this is probably a lot, what, a lot like what it'll look like when you try it. This looks pretty sloppy, right? And you'll notice that I have to use a lot of finger motion to kind of get the pen to go where I want it to. Okay, so you should expect your, your pen spin to look like this at first. As you practice, you'll be able to minimize the motion of those fingers required to get the pen to move the way you want. So now, you know, I've practiced for a while, so you can barely even see my fingers move, right? But you're going to have to be like this for a while until you've practiced enough. And the great thing about pen spins is that they're so easy to practice, especially if you're still in school, you can just do this all day in class and eventually you'll get it. Okay, so it's all muscle memory. Eventually you won't even have to think about it. It just happens naturally without you even thinking about it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the first pen spin for you guys. I, I hope that helped. Bye.